The following may contain language that is not suitable for all audiences. Thank you for uh, joining us on the Low Fact Podcast. I'm glad you were able to find us. So, are you introducing yourself, Lord uh, Lord High Class Highbrow? This is Boomsticks, Lord Highbrow, straight out of Compton. Compton, my ass. <laughs> straight out of Pakistani. Straight out of fancy pants uh, country club, maybe. No, dude. I don't know what. How you have this idea of me, but I'm not. What do you mean? I'm not some like wealthy, fancy person. Don't you don't you go around telling people like your your uh, your your great grandmother or something was some kind of Maori princess or something? She was. So you're so you're the was great great grandmother. Actually. So you're the male equivalent. You, you're the you're the less successful younger male equivalent of Elizabeth Warren. No, <laughs> <laughs> I got it on both sides. Actually, I I, I got Maori royalty on both sides, mum and dad side. Okay, yeah, and so you're, 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 wa- you're running around talking about how you're, like, indigenous royalty. I am. Uh, how, like, you know... I'm probably Irish royalty, too, not... How you're, how you're super well-connected in your home country, and... If I'm super well-connected, what am I doing here? Maybe you're the black sheep, maybe you're, maybe you're the idiot. <sighs> That's maybe, nice. Maybe, maybe it's, like the, it's like the old law school adage, if you don't know who the asshole in your class is in the first two weeks... It's you. So maybe you don't know that you're the you're the low achieving member of your family. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm just like that's not very. That hits my ego. That's okay, Lord Fancy Pants. Your country club set loves you anyway. So anyway, um, let's get let's get into it. Um, I um, 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 uh, um, uh, um er. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> Start calling you what's his face. Yes, what's his face? The damn the chicken. The how rooster. much? Uh, how much? Uh, how much imperfection do you think people are willing to have in their lives? I wish I had videos so that people could see me shaking my head. Well, they're probably shaking their heads too. Let me explain. What? Let me explain. You better. We're not perfect beings. And we will never attain any kind of perfection in anything. We like to lie to ourselves and say we can, you know, like perfect attendance in school, of which I got many years. Really? Yeah. You never wagged? No. You never bumped school? No. Um, So being in an imperfect world full of other imperfect beings, you're bound to have mistakes flaws things happen and those things could have small or big consequences right you might uh, you might be late for something or you know someone near and dear to you could be die could be die could you know be could be dead yes could die taught okay so you know i was wondering i was wondering how and it, i just for some reason it just made me wonder like how much imperfection are you willing to is acceptable I mean, you have to think about it, right? I mean, in, in manufacturing processes, isn't there like an acceptable amount of insect and rodent feces or whatever in, in candy bars? I don't know, man. I don't like to think about that shit. Uh, you know, with vaccines, because people are talking about the coronavirus vaccine, I mean, there's no such thing as a 100% vaccine. It's probably going to give people like some kind of disease. Whatever. But, you know... Uh, because I guess I guess you you're just too used to being humored by everybody because you're of royal blood or something that people think that you're just kind of smooth no matter what you say. But going back on track to what I was talking about, what the hell are you talking about? Huh? Are you talking rubbish? Yeah, sure I am. Your holiness. What? Why are you turning red? Are you trying to think? Is that why you're? Is that why you're like? Yeah, I'm like just like. Like, people, I don't well, even think about fucking imperfection. Well, people don't think about it. People don't think about how uh, how they're not perfect and how things will get messed up invariably. So, you know, 
and and I've been I've been thinking about it more often uh, because the the pet project for the for the for the news media and the the five companies that own them is pointing out this year is pointing out uh, you know all the all the death that police officers have caused oh, due to their imp- well, imperfect ways. Well, no, just just all the all the killings that police officers have caused of uh, of black and other minority. Mostly black, I suppose, and and I'm just sitting there going, and how that's how that is uh, how that is cause for uh, rioting and all kinds of whatever. Well, not whatever, but how that is cause for for concern. And I'm sitting there going, well, how often does it happen? Not that often. Well, but but then that's the question, right? So how much imperfection are you? How many how many mistakes or Bad oh, apples the, are you willing to, to take? Those people who point the finger at cops expect but the cops you're, to be... But you're, you're not... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. They expect the cops to be perfect. They expect the cops to make no mistakes. They expect there to be the, the cops to um, sit there and take whatever is, is given to them in terms of... Well, the behavior of the person they're arresting. I think, and they and they ex- they, they expect the, the cops to just be perfect. I think that everyone has that expectation. Should have that expectation only after they can fart a rainbow and skittles. <laughs> taste the what does it taste the rainbow? Um, yeah, before well, and Lucky Charms before you can actually <laughs> through your flatulence. <laughs> emit a rainbow, Skittles, and Lucky Charms, then you cannot have that expectation. Is it the Skittles commercial that's Taste the Rainbow? It is. Yeah, I like those ads. I'm sure you do. Um, but yeah, it's... Because if if there's if the answer is perfection, then I know that you're full of crap. Well, these are the most imperfect people you'll ever meet in that your doesn't, life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This, this, whole, this whole you have to be perfect before you can expect perfection or, you know... You the, the the whole the whole you know ye without sin should, can cast the first stone I think is a BS response to everything and it's something that I know I do that I'm hoping that I'm trying to stop I'm trying to stop when people say you can't do that and I say oh yeah well you do it that's because that's a stupid response it is far it is so galactically stupid why huh why is why, it? why is it so galactically stupid yeah you can't do that why not. You can't do that. Why not? That, I think, is a much better answer that you can't do that. Well, you do it. Yeah. I don't know why, but it so- it definitely sounds better. Well, to me, to me, I'm not saying that everyone needs to change it, but I just think... Because it's- it's the, the, second, the second example sounds like children. It is, it is pretty like childish. Children. It is pretty childish. But going back to what I was talking about, I think, so I, my, my question is, is how much, how much imperfection? How much, how many flaws? None. If it's another person, people expect other people so you, to be perfect. I'm asked, so you're, you're answering my rhetorical question and your answer is zero? Well, I'm not talking about me. So you're answering my rhetorical question with a hypothetical answer, and that hypothetical answer from a hypo- with a hypothetical answer with an answer from a hypothetical person, and that person is answering zero. Yeah, they expect per- perfection. Well, I think that hypothetical from others. that hypothetical person can take a hike. I think a lot of people. That's what a lot of people expect of other people. I'm sure. You know they- what? I include myself. I don't know why I'm not. I'm like being hypothetical. It's like I exclude. I. Well, I guess because because the sovereign and all his family can have no flaws. <laughs> I expect everybody to behave perfectly and do things perfectly, and then I, I guess I expect to get a pass for not doing things perfectly. So, well, that's kind of messed up. I don't think it's messed up at all. That's normal. It's How many people want to be accountable? Zero. It's not zero. How many people want to be accountable? Zero. Yes, it is sure zero. Yes, I yes. Mean, come on. Yes. Yes, it's zero. Nobody wants to be accountable. Yeah, exactly. I'm talking about desire here, not about what will happen. Will people become accountable? Sure they will. Do, do, they, do they want to? Hell no. 
You talking about conscious desire or subconscious desire? I don't think it really matters. Because consciously, it well, you know what? Both for whatever you. Th- I, th- I think I, that subconsciously and consciously, no one wants to be accountable. I think consciously, people would say that. They let's say, let's say, say you stole a grape, and for some reason, you lived in some weird jurisdiction where the thievery of a single grape could mean that, that they could slice off a millimeter of your nose. That's not fair. Why is that not fair? I'm just, uh, it's its my hypothetical. It doesn't have to be up. fair. Okay. Do you want to be accountable? No. Now, let's say that if you don't want to be accountable, you can pawn off on someone else and then, you know, they will get their entire nose cut off. And that person will be like, I don't know, your girlfriend, your mom or something. At that point, are you going to be accountable? The, oh, the other person is a family member? Yeah, somewhat important, maybe somewhat important to you. Then, yes. So, there you go. I have just illustrated how no one wants to be accountable, and yet they will be under certain conditions. Uh, Is this true for everybody? It may not be, but I think it's true enough for most for enough people that, you know, there you go. Smart us. You're such a smart us. Yeah, it hasn't helped me any. But then again, I think that's probably the way it should be, right? Nobody wants a smart ass to have anything help them. To one up them? No, they don't. Nobody wants the smart ass to be successful. To have anything, they want the smart ass to just be wallowing in their own feces, hating life. Well, there there is some truth to saying nobody likes a smart ass. Well, jokes on you all. <laughs> I hate life, but I'm not wallowing in my feces. <laughs> you are a smart ass, though. I mean, that is a good description for you. Fine. I, I hate it. My answer to that is better a smart ass than a dumbass. Okay. So anyway, um, what were we talking about? Imperfection. Yeah. How, no. How much imperfection are you willing to? T- willing oh yeah, to I want to hear your answer. I've never thought about it. You just asked the freaking question. Why don't you answer the question for once? I just answered the question. I've never, I've never thought about it. I just think of okay, questions. Okay. What's your answer then? How much imperfection should I be willing? To, am I no. willing to take? Yeah. Not much. No. On the on the on the things that I believe are important to me, very very little. And on the stuff that's not that important to me, or that I consider unimportant, in fact, it can be 100%. I really don't care. So it depends. Just like any good answer from a lawyer or an economist. <laughs> what a smart ass. But yeah. Yeah, I guess I should have. I should have thought about it more, but I didn't go that far. Anyway, I guess we can call ourselves the half-assed podcast, too, if we wanted to. Yeah, let's rebranch.